good, everybody? It's your boy Chaz Custom, Custom Model Cars. A big shout out to everybody. Much props. Thank you all for your comments. I appreciate it very much. Got another model kit review for you guys. It's on the uh, Revell 57 Cadillac Eldorado Broham. Uh, this is the SSP edition, which is the Selective Subjects Program. Uh, this is a reissue uh, from the uh, from the first issued um, Cadillac Broham, which was back either in the 60s or the 70s. So this is a 125th scale, scale level 2. It does come with two figures. Um, but I will say that Revell got really lazy with the molding on this kit, and it's not... Um, it doesn't even look like the real car itself. It just looks like a toy, like a big clunky toy, you know? Like something you would give your uh, three-year-old to play with. So on a scale of 1 through 10, I give this kit a 4. It is one below the uh, Cobra Mustang, which both of them look like toy kits. So, but this one really, really takes the um, the trash can here because this is really not worth the penny uh, to spend on. And I will be turning this thing into a bar find and everything. I thought when I got this kit, I thought it was going to be a really nice kit because I'm, I'm into Cadillacs, you know, and that sort of thing. But very, very disappointed. Very disappointed with this kit. Here you have your information here. Of course, your box art is going to be the same on each side of the box. You get some information on the bottom of the box as well. And then, of course, you have your information here in the picture of the car itself. But again, very disappointing kit, and I think Revell got really lazy with this one. So let's go ahead and crack this puppy open and show you guys why I gave it a 4 rating. Okay, here's your instructions. Of course, um, inside you've got your decals, which we'll talk about later. Uh, for right now, here's the instructions. you got a uh, brief history of the vehicle itself, and you have a picture of the real car. you got information there, and you have your information there, and your paint guide. The... Uh, the instructions are well illustrated, easy to follow. I'm not sure if it's easy to understand, but they are easy to follow. So let's go ahead and show you guys, give you guys a little sneak peek here. So there's your figurines, and you only get two pages out of this whole deal. There's about six steps. So it's a toy car, just like the uh, the Mustang Cobra, another toy car. Decals are very nicely uh, printed. You get four badges for your rims, and you get the uh, white wall inserts and you get four license plates and your factory badging. That's all you get. Simple to the point. Other than that, very nicely printed. Um, I'm going to start with the chrome first. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <laughs> so the rims are really nicely detailed and chromed. You got your headlight bezels with the uh, molded in headlights, which are very crappy. And then of course you got your license plate bracket. You've got a little trim for your hood, I believe. That's what it is. Um, you have the rear bumper assembly, which my little part here, the pl plastic was so brittle it broke. So I have to re-glue that one. But of course you got to paint these to me a clear red or whatever color and stuff. So, and then you got to paint these, you know, black, with the exhaust. And here you have the huge monster grill with the bullet style um, bumpers. Same with right here. So you got to... Um, Really nice one there. You got to paint these these lights. I think to me a clear red or, or amber orange. I'm not for sure. But there you go. Nicely molded and uh, chromed. Okay, to be honest with you guys, this kit is completely garbage. I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, your roof is separate, but you need to do some cleaning. So once you glue your back windshield, your front windshield, once you figure all that out, then you can glue this on there onto the car itself. So it, plops down something like this so oh it's just complete garbage um, so you got your your pin marks and some uh, little stamping here and there that you need to clean up but just very bland in detail and and again it's just I'm just totally disappointed with this whole kit it would be a lot better if Ravel would have took their time instead of gotten lazy with with the whole molding I mean look at this this is one half of the body okay there's no there's no bracing, no nothing, so it could have got crushed or whatever. Uh, again, it is a curbside. But I mean, just... Wow. So your little trim goes on the front there. But look at this. And you need to clean this whole thing up. There's a lot of mold flash. There's a lot of warping on the edge of the plastic as well. So here's the back end to it. And here's the other side. 
It's just overall just disappointing. So here you have the other half and it's got the other half of your body. Could have been broken off here. See, look at that. And up here as well. So there you go. And here's the bottom of the chassis that's molded in together. Look at that. It's molded in together. You have your engine detail, your exhaust, and part of your axle. This thing does not come with... Oh, you got your other exhaust there. If you can see, it's right here. This thing does not come with metal axles. It comes with plastic axles. Very brittle, thin plastic axles. Yes. You got some stamping you need to clean up. If you choose to get this kit. But this is just... It's a reissue. It's a, it is a reissue of the first version of this kit. But come on, this is just ridiculous. And then, of course, here's your interior with the molded in um, carpeting. Um, eh, it is what it is, you know what I mean? It just looks like somebody took a Dremel tool and just went, you know? Here's the rear axle itself, it's all hollowed out. Um, that's basically what you get right there. You got to clean up some flash and whatever, but it's just very clunky looking and just, I don't know. So here's the top of your dash here. And here's your door panel here. Very minimal detail, you guys, but it is what it is. And here you have your, um, set of tires. Yes, these are molded in plastic. They are not vinyl or rubber. They are two-piece plastic. And here's your trim, which should have been chrome, but they decided to mold this one in black, which is very disappointing too. Another disappointing part of the kit. And here you have your um, front bench seat here. And eh, the details are okay. I mean, it could be better, but... I mean, they're trying to represent a button tuck interior. I mean, that just does not look like a button tuck. So, here's your steering wheel. Um, you got to do a lot of massive cleanup there. Um, da -da. Here's the front um, of your axle for the front end, or axle cover, or whatever you want to call it. Just no detail at all. Here's your uh, steering column, also bland. And here's your rear bench seat. Okay, so at least it's got the trim on the side of it, you know. Let's see, what else we got here? Oh, the back of the uh, front bench seat. It's that. Here's your dashboard. So you got some detail there. You got your little, you know, air vent there and whatever. Uh, some more tires. And here is your figures. This is the back half to the woman. So she needed a lot of cleanup there. And here's the front half. Once you put these figures together, you do need to use um, putty to um, hide all the gaps and everything like that. So just to let you guys know, and you got to be careful with some of the details. You don't rub them out. I mean, these characters are horrible. I built the uh, characters from the uh, uh, Ford um, Skyliner um, kit, and the, and the figures were a lot better than these. So... Yep, so that's that. Um, and here is your clear plastic. So, for a crappy kit, sure does have a nice windshield and rear windshield and nice lenses here. But um, it's got the, uh, your, your uh, side mirrors molded in. So, but that's about it, you guys. Um, that concludes the uh, model kit review for the um, 57 Cadillac Eldorado Broham. Not much to share with you guys. Just a lot of crappiness. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm not going to recommend this kit because it's it's a waste of money. You don't want to spend your money on this garbage. So, anyways, um, like I said, this will be built up as a barn barn style fine, but that's as far as it's going to go. So, until then, you guys, keep your heads up no matter what. Through all the struggles, keep hope, keep faith, keep up the great work. Keep on building those models. Keep doing what you're doing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy Chess Customs, Custom Model Cars, signing out. Peace.